the tea party here in Centennial Park. I was a volunteer and I met Herman. And last year in New Orleans in April, I met Herman again for the Republican leadership, the Southern Republican Leadership Conference. And I want to tell you that Herman, I had listened to Herman on his radio show, but he spoke at that conference and he brought the house down. I also heard him speak at CPAC in front of 11,000 people this year and he was the only speaker that the whole crowd was wild. I told my table tonight, it's like when E.F. Hutton speaks, <laughs> people listen. And Leadership Conference in New Orleans, he gave me two pieces of advice. I was seeking advice from him and some others about opening another business. He told me not to do that in this economy with President Obama. He said, that is not wisdom. Yeah. Hold your money. Save yeah, yeah. your cash. He's not for small businesses. So that was one. Then I also was contemplating running for Congress in the 5th District against John Lewis. And he also said, hold your money. Don't do it. I never use paper, but Herman is so accomplished and there's so much to tell you that I cannot memorize all this. So I'm going to tell you just a few highlights. I won't do it all, but I want you to know that Herman became the youngest vice president in the history of the Pillsbury Company in 1977, just three years with the company. He left the position to learn the restaurant business at Pillsbury's Burger King subsidiary. After completing the management training program in only nine months, Kane was Herman, I don't like to say that. Herman was named vice president and general manager for the Philadelphia region of the Burger King Corporation. I just want I'm saying all this to you think in your mind about a business mind. This country needs a business leader. in turning around a failing, many failing franchises across the U.S., Godfather's Pizza named him president and CEO during a time when the company had all but declared bankruptcy. Well, I don't know if y'all looked lately at the paper or the news, but this company has, this country is like a company that has almost declared bankruptcy. Yeah. Godfather's Pizza profitable again and ultimately led its management team in a buyout of the company. So these are things that are important. I need you to know that business experience is very important and Herman has such a great uh, record of that with what he's done. And he went to Morehouse College in Atlanta and he worked as, um, as a mathematician for the Navy. He went later to Purdue University. He earned a master's degree in computer science. He married his beautiful wife, Gloria. And they have two children, Melanie and Vincent. He also um, got involved in politics in 1994, and he campaigned around the country against, get this, President Clinton's health plan, contending that small businesses would be hurt by it. Well, there's another health plan now that's not by but it's called Obamacare, that Herman Cain has spoken widely against it and told the reasons why it will hurt small businesses, myself being one of them. He, um, he has done so many other things, I could go on and on and on, but another thing that happened to Herman a few years ago is he was diagnosed with stage 4 colon cancer. And by all means in the natural realm of man, he should not be here. But as he so eloquently has said in so many wonderful speeches, God said, I'm not finished with you yet. So I am excited to know why God kept him here and did not take him on the glory. And I just am so happy and honored. I 
just, he is a wonderful man. He has such integrity. He is an excellent leader. He had a wonderful, and all of you are great listeners of his show, but he taught me so much. And one of my favorite things to share about Herman is he taught me that liberals sin. And I thought, <laughs> what does he mean, liberal sin? We all sin. What does he mean, liberal sin? And he says that liberals shift, they shift the subject, they ignore, and then any of them and the first is my darling wife of 43 years as of June 23rd we're coming up on 43 years she's only been to two events ever since I've been on this journey and she chose to come here tonight Glory She doesn't want to talk. I often get people asking me, well, how does your wife feel about this? I said, she's terrified. What do you expect? <laughs> but here's the thing about being with someone for 42 years, and these are her words. She may not like this whole endeavor, but she is totally supportive. That's mm -hmm. all you got. Thank <laughs> you. 